Good morning, guys. Um, yesterday I was, you know, checking around the internet for some good horror movies, and um, I've, I found this review over here. Well, let me show you. Um, it's about a movie called uh, what's the name again? Contracted, and it's basically about a lesbian woman in her 20s I guess early 20s who's kind of depressed and she decides to hook up with a guy at a at her at a party at a friend's house and as a consequence she contracts a demonic sexual transmitted disease in which she you know she basically becomes like a Nephilim a vampire well, I, 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 I decided to check for the movie myself, so hold on, so I've downloaded the file in order to see for myself, see what else I can discover. Now, I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to show the whole film. This is when she became ill. Oh, let me continue. And this is near the end of the film. Hope you guys can see it well. Anyway, if you go back to the beginning of the film, uh, I believe this is her around here. Yes. Well, you guys might, might be asking, why am I showing this? Listen. Look, I'm not making this video to make a moral statement concerning sexuality, no. The thing is, guys, there are sexual transmitted diseases, but there are also sexual transmitted demons in the world. And remember, you see, Nephilim, those non-human beings, those shapeshifters, also walk around hooking up. So, just think twice before you decide to just get laid with someone because it might be that you're getting laid with a non-human entity and it might have disastrous consequences for you. It might imply immediate death and which will lead to eternal death to hell or it might imply that you have lifelong illness in your body. I mean, you, uh, you might say, oh, shit, it's just a horror movie. Well, to be frank, this stuff, stuff like this, do happen. But people often don't talk about it. And yes, they make movies uh, about it. Just to, you know, pretend as if it's just fiction. So I decided to, you know, look if there are any recent, you know, uh, events that are similar to this. Well, I didn't really found that, but I did found this thing over here. This is about a few young girls. I'm not sure whether they're in the late teens or begin 20s. Anyway, they're adolescent girls. Uh, they claim to be Bible believers and exorcists. And they exorcise, and they mainly focus on sexual transmitted demons. They say that when you were sexual abused as a kid, or you were emotionally, you know, abused, you know, demons could 
as entity because traumas are strongholds for demons to enter people and they go around the world exercising people they went to ukraine i believe and ukraine is a quite is a place with a lot of demonic activity so anyway guys this is just to show you that not everything they make in horror movies are pure fiction some of them are based or let's say a lot of them are based on reality okay so i'm not ad advocating people to go watch all horror movies the reason i've watched the reason i watch horror movies is to gain insight to get uh, because you see some horror movies are better than some documentaries because oftentimes hollywood you know portrays reality better in their movies than documentary makers can do in their documentaries sad but true anyway guys again be careful before you know you choose choosing to get late with someone why not just give your life over to jesus let him provide for you and you know your sexuality will be safe and uh, preserved instead of you know just giving in with a stranger you don't know who he is where he's from and remember there are also shapeshifters you know walking around this earth at the moment so if you get infested with one of these beings whether you're a boy, boy or a girl it could be your first class ticket to hell anyway i hope this video might have opened some people's eyes and um, if you have a sexual transmitted demon or if you believe there's a guy hitting on you or a girl hitting on you that might be a nephilim just turn to the lord jesus for help that's the only solution okay may the grace of jesus be with you